Assalamu alaikum. Uh, good evening, everyone. I am Iman Khalaf, Associate Professor of Microbiology and Immunology, Faculty of Pharmacy, Damanhur University. Today, I'm going to present a very brief presentation about the progress in my project titled The Improvement of Career Advising Program at Faculty of Pharmacy, Damanhur University. So first, uh, let's uh, take a look at the, uh, the project again, the chart. You will notice uh, some red squares, which denote the uh, original uh, plan of uh, the project and a single blue, blue uh, square which denotes uh, as adjustment at a specific stage so instead of happening in march it happened in february also the squares that um, have the the word done it means that the uh, those stages are already done and the, the rest of the squares are empty which means that they are still in progress so what have been done in my project so far is like reading literature review presenting the project plan to the team members and other faculty members in my school and i designed a need assessment questionnaire for students to uh, know their um, needs uh, in the like um, for the uh, that uh, in, in terms of like the workshops and other stuff to be included in the career advising program uh, at my school. Also, uh, I had uh, like different meetings with the focus group, including academic advisors and other faculty members to know their uh, reflection regarding the students' needs and attitudes. Next step should be distributing this uh, need assessment questionnaire to the students, but uh, this requires to get the, the IRB. Uh, approval or get the approval from the ethics committee. I already submitted this form last January, but for some reason it is still under processing. I have three uh, many changes uh, made to my project. So the first one is adjustment of the need assessment survey. So instead of just focusing on including the workshops and the career advising event, I selected a pool of 20 topics or themes to satisfy the students' needs. Uh, including workshops, lectures, brochures, information resources, flyers with a list of employers' addresses, and other stuff. Uh, then this survey should be distributed electronically among the pharmacy students from all levels, and instead of just focusing on students from the fourth and fifth level. And this will include uh, students from clinical and general programs. Then students will vote for the 10 for the top 10 themes based on their needs for their future employment to be included in the event. Also, I added a new member to the project team. He is a faculty member with a great experience in delivering workshops uh, for generic skills. He already has a business in this uh, area and he is willing to deliver diverse workshops during the draft phase. The last change that I did uh, or I made to my project is uh, I thought about project replication. So given the challenges that I'm facing in my institute, I thought about replicating the project in other universities that have a good experience in career advising programs. So I contacted the vice dean of pharmacy school uh, at Mansoura University, which is a public university. And also I contacted the, uh, the dean of pharmacy school at Delta University, which is a private university. This happened through phone calls and Zoom meetings to present the project and convince them with the importance of this collaboration to their institutions. So if succeeded, so I think that combining the results and findings from uh, this uh, project from different universities uh, in, um, could be like um, uh, a helpful or beneficial step uh, to have uh, like uh, um, a study or a comparative study that uh, focusing on comparing between public versus uh, private universities or well-established uh, versus newly established universities in Egypt in terms of uh, career advising program. So the lessons learned uh, from uh, my journey in my project so far. First, persistence is very important to reach out my goals. Second, uh, proper selection of the team members based on services and fac uh, facilities that they could provide. A good work environment is a key factor for success. Seeking support from outside my institution could be a good alternative solution to reach out my goals. Seeking support from successful institutions with previous experience in the area of interest is very helpful. It is important to explain the benefits that the new stakeholders will get from this collaboration. So to encourage them to uh, be involved in the project and eventually communicating with the team members inside and outside the institution and never give up. 